Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Katarina, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. This look is kind of going to be more of your nighttime appropriate bronze, kind of smoky eye and very glowy face. We're using a lot of cream products today and then setting them with powder, so this look is going to last all night long. It's definitely more, like I said, a nighttime look as opposed to a daytime, but you could wear this for either or. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. Hey guys! Okay, so first we're going to start off with our foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Today I'm using the shade 220. I love this foundation. I'm just going to dot this all over my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender. If you guys want to see a full tutorial and review on this, I'll link that video down below. Then for concealer, I'm using my very much loved Maybelline Instant Age Wine Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium. And today I went a little heavy handed with the concealer. I mean, all the concealer I'm using is not necessary at all, but I do like the look that it created at the outcome. I just kind of got a little carried away and started putting this all over my face. And then also blended this in with a beauty blender. This concealer is so good at brightening, covering dark circles, and really highlighting the face. I absolutely love this stuff. Next, you want to set that, so I'm going to use the Banana and Vanilla shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit with a tapered brush, and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes, over my eyelids, basically wherever I put that concealer, but you're going to notice that I'm not going to put this all over my face, and that's because we're going to use cream products later, but I just wanted to set these areas so they don't crease. Then I'm going to go in with this Marilyn Young. This is like a cream shadow, and I'll link it down below. I got it at a boutique, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. This is going to create a really nice base and then I'm going to blend it in with my fingers and go in with this Sephora Made Simple palette and I'm just using pretty much a kind of burnt copperish bronze shade if that makes sense just a very warm toned brown and I'm first gonna apply that with my finger all over and then I'm gonna take a matte medium ashy brown and then I'm gonna use that to use as a transition shade just to kind of blur out any harsh lines, make sure everything's blended, just using the typical windshield wiper motion strokes. And then I'm taking a matte white shade and just going to apply that right above the last shade that we did, again, just to create a very seamless, flawless cover. And then I'm gonna use my finger again with that first kind of copperish shade and reapply that, that way if we miss, or if we kind of lost any of the product, we'll get it back. And then you just kind of repeat the steps. So now I'm using a smaller blending brush, going back in with that kind of medium ashy brown. And you just wanna keep repeating this and keep blending until it's up to your preference. And then I decided to tight line so that our lashes look fuller and thicker. And I'm just using one from Hard Candy. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. For mascara today, I'm using a little bit of the Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. I am going to be doing some false lashes, so I just want to do a nice light coat of this. That way the lashes have something to blend into, and it also makes your lashes look fuller and thicker when you do this. So I'm going to use the Cara S4s. These are like my favorite lashes, and they're only a dollar. And I applied those, and then we're going to go straight onto the face. And I'm using this contour stick by City Claire Cosmetics. It is amazing, you guys. This is the first time that I've shown on camera my cream contouring. And I can do a whole separate video if you want to see it. But basically, I'm just going to take an angled brush and kind of start buffing that into my skin. I love doing this. This when I want more of a dewy looking skin and very glowy face and long lasting. Because I will set it afterwards. And this contour shade is in the shade Mocha. And then to really sharpen up that contour, I'm gonna use that concealer that I used earlier, put that right under the contour marks on my cheekbones and blend that in as well. Then for blush, I'm using one of the NYX Rouge Cream blushes. I love this blush, it is gorgeous. This shade is in the shade Glow. It's just a kind of watermelon shade, I guess you could say, with a stippling brush and just applying that over the cream bronzer. And this is why I didn't set my face yet. So now that all the cream's on, I can go ahead and set it with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220. I love this stuff. I use it every single day. It's really good at mattifying the skin. Then I wanted even more warmth to my face, so of course I went into the Bellissimo Bronze Blush by Milani and just warmed up the face once again, just because I feel like this kind of completes the whole face look. 
for highlight today, I am using the Mana Cosmetics Highlighter. This is a cream kind of rose gold copper shade. It is beautiful. And you do want to apply it with your fingers as opposed to a brush. That way you can really control where it goes and kind of melt it into your skin. So I'm just putting that on my cheekbones. So then we want to uh, finish up the eyes. So I'm first going to take this Rimmel Scandalized Liner. This is in the shade Nude. And this is going to really open up and brighten the eyes, make them look round, large, wide awake, and just kind of like doe-eyed. And then we're going to repeat the process that we did at the top of our lid on the bottom. So I'm going to take that matte shade first, just like any matte um, medium ash brown with a pencil brush, and just drag that under the lower lash line. We're really kind of smoking this out just to kind of even everything out. And then I'm gonna go in with the more coppery shade and place that more in the center. This is gonna, once again, make your eyes appear larger and rounder. Then you do not wanna forget some mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm using, again, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And I'm also popping a little bit on my eyelashes, the false lashes, to kind of blend everything in. For lips, I'm first going to line my lips using the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. And I'm going to fill my lips in with this as well. And for a lipstick slash lip gloss, I'm using the Jordana Twist and Shine Balm Stain in the shade Nude Chic. I actually use this as one of the three options in my lip tutorial that are in my makeup tutorial that I did last. And I loved it. It is so beautiful and I thought it would be perfect for this look. So this is the completed look, you guys. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, that way you don't miss out on any of my videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as well as some bonus videos in between. Again, thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. This video is going to kind of be like my go-to makeup look. Also consider it as my full coverage foundation, flawless foundation routine.